super hot summer's day today and uh, Gary and I have decided to go exploring a little bit. It's Tuesday so there's not so many people around and we've basically just driven up towards Ulai but we've taken a turn somewhere, I, I don't remember where but I'll put it on Google Maps and we found this spot which is just really nice. I mean you can see there's like virtually <laughs> got bitten by fish. <laughs> there's like virtually nobody here. Um, there's a, a, a woman with her kids that just arrived but it's, it's basically completely isolated. The only problem with this spot is um, there's no public transport that comes here so you have to either scooter here or um, take a bus or a taxi or something like that. Uh, we just drove up today. The water is really nice. It's, uh, it's cold, but it's really nice. It's a bit murky today because we had a typhoon just uh, five days ago. Um, but it's really nice and there's a big pool behind me. I don't know if you can... Ouch! Again. <laughs> there's a big pool behind me. I don't know if you can see Gary. He's like swimming and sitting on the rocks over there. Um, and I'm like uh, sitting in the water. And I'm getting bitten by some kind of little fish that come down the river. So I'm going to head back to the big pool where there are no little fish. Um, yeah, the spot is really nice. There's like a, a bit of an open area over there where you can put your bag and stuff. Um, and I see that people have had barbecue here, so it's, it's a bit dirty. Um, it hasn't been cleaned, but um, it's a nice spot. I think, I think as far as natural, outdoorsy swimming places go, this is a really, really nice spot. Guangxing. Um, I'm not sure exactly if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'll, I'll write it down in Chinese and, and put Chinese in the pinyin on my blog page as well.